Hey friends, it is Tracy. It is Friday and it is the best day of the week, which is Savings Challenge Day. I am sorry that I did not have a Wednesday video this week. This week was so just chaotic in general. <laughs> the fact that I'm recording a video right now for you guys for Friday is honestly a miracle. <laughs> so um, yeah, personal life crazy, work life crazy, everything just crazy right now. I am going to stuff a $180. So this is how much I've been able to budget per paycheck. Let's make sure that we have that amount. 20, 40, 55, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, we budget $80 per week to go towards my 2024 challenges. So I have two of them going on at once, a little bit of crazy, but I'm very grateful because this money is going to come in handy down the road. Um, I am going to be pivoting on what I use this money with, as well as kind of giving you guys some updates going forward. Um, I'm not ready or able to really discuss everything right now but I do have just some different changes coming and things I've had to do. So bear with me. Everything is irregular right now. I'm hoping within the next couple months, things are just going to get more normalized and we'll get back to a regular like cadence of videos. <laughs> I miss, I miss my Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I, several of you have reached out and you miss my videos too. And it just makes me so happy that you guys miss me and you are engaged with me and care about me and it just really means a lot so eighty dollars is allocated to these 20 40 65 75 80 dollars we'll set the other money aside so we're going to do thirty dollars into this one and then we're going to actually put the remainder of the money into this one so i know this week we're going heavier on the scratch book and a little less on here i could have done 30 plus 35 and done 65 but we're not going to do that. <laughs> I want to put a little bit of love into this one. So 25, 30 is going into this one. 20, 45, $50 is going into this book. So let's do our Madeline budgets one first. All right. So in here we have the $30. We're going to color in this last square for the row. And then we'll have a, another row done, which is awesome. Yay. <laughs> so then next week we will pick another color and we will fill in more squares. And I think we're getting close. We're getting pretty close to getting a thousand dollars. We're not quite there yet, but we're, we're like, we're inching our way down. All right. So adding this 30. So, so far in here, we have 500, 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 25, 30. So 830 dollars. So we have 170 dollars to go, and we hit a thousand dollars. How cool! <laughs> and I started this in April. So April, May, June, July. We're four months in. Yes, it's just a little bit at a time, but it, it works like slow and steady wins the race, right? <laughs> All right, let's do our other 2024 book. All right, so for this one, we actually have $45, $50 today. This is the most I think we've stuffed in a while. So let's load our calculator with the $50. And what I do is I just subtract as I go through because there's so many different scratch offs in here and numbers. And we're just going to go to where we left off which is coloring. I might skip the coloring today just because that takes a little bit of time and I'm just kind of allocating my energy to where I can. All right, so it looks like we left off on this page. So let's scratch and just see how far we can get. Um, and then there's always the bonus at the end here. So we got a six, so we're gonna subtract six. So we have 44 left. I might be able to finish this row, another six. That's fun. 38. Ooh, a 10. Okay. We're not scared of big numbers when you have extra money. <laughs> and we'll do this. And then we made a T up top. T for Tracy. Uh, 23. 
minus four. I don't know if we'll finish this whole page, but we're gonna make a really good dent. Well, if we get twos, then we might. <laughs> 17 left and a one. Well, both of those helped a lot. 16 left. Five. Okay, we're down to 11. Three. We have eight left, and this is one through 10. Do we think there's another 10 on here? Do we take a risk? Ugh, that's an eight. This easily could be a nine, because there hasn't been a nine yet. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna risk it. We're gonna take a chance. Oh, $1, okay, that helped. So minus one, we have $7 left. Now I could do this four, but I like to do the bonus last. I don't know why, it's like the finish upper. We're gonna leave that one. I know that's gonna bug people. I know it's gonna bug people. <laughs> do I just do it? Do I just do it? But then I'm leaving the bonus, so we're, we're gonna leave it be. All right, so we have seven left, so let's color in some puzzle pieces because three plus two is five, and we can do the two, so let's do that. All right, so we colored three plus two is five plus two is seven, so minus seven. We used up all $50, which is awesome. I I love the look of the puzzle pieces, but I'm finding out that I like don't like coloring them. <laughs> and I love to do puzzles, but apparently I don't like to color puzzles. Who knew? All right, let's add in this money and see where we're at. All right, so, so far we've saved 500, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 600, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 1. <laughs> That was rough. <laughs> $681. So we are getting there. But that's why I wanted to give this one a little bit more love today because this one is definitely not as far along as the other one. And yeah, that's all. That's why. Okay, this book is done. And this is from Carmen, the Humble Budgeter. She has a new pink cowboy, cowgirl um western theme book for 2025 i'm excited i have it coming i just haven't gotten it yet and i can't wait to show it to you guys but in the meantime i am loving this 2024 book and i actually think this one's super cute <laughs> next up is the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend and this is from marlene over at snow gunner 307 this is a save for travel so I have a hundred dollars left out of that 180 since 80 of it was taken out to go towards 2024 challenges and the rest of it is going to go towards all these other ones. So let's do a travel is the next one. I just put a little business card holder on here and stuck in a little place card to say what I want to save for. I'm doing one page to save towards a long term sinking fund of my choosing. I did, someone did remind me that I did start a new page, which was the egg one, this one. But anytime I start a new challenge, I always scratch off one from this back cover and I forgot to do that. So we're gonna do that first. And it's just little bonus money that gets to go towards it. Ooh, we got a big bonus. <laughs> Good thing I love to travel because I will take it. All right, so let's add five, six, seven, eight, and I only do one scratch to start and that's it. So I won't have to go back there now until I start a new page, then I will do one from the front. Uh, but right now we are on this egg basket page. I do a little bit from the front and a little bit from the back and collectively that is what I save for the week. So I just love, I love Marlene. I love her books. She is the sweetest person. She has also reached out to me and she's just so good. <laughs> You know, you you do these videos and you first start out thinking you're just holding yourself accountable and then you realize throughout it that you're you're making friends and you're establishing connections and some of those friends are just truly like just amazing people in your life and Marlene is one of those but there's so many others like the amount of just 
good people that I've met in this community is just, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, so we got $1. I'm trying not to get teary yet. I've been in a roller coaster this week, so let's go back to fun. <laughs> and not that you can't have emotions, trust me. <laughs> I watched Inside Out. I'm very aware that you need to have sad days too. <laughs> Uh, we're going to add $3. I just got in my feels there for a second. I love this page because they're all one through three. <laughs> they're all low numbers. But I think it's because this back page, you get to pick your numbers, but I went a little spicier. So I did $10 for the golden egg. Of course, I already found that. $5 for a cracked egg, $3 for a sunny side up, and $2 for a hard boiled or raw. I don't know. One of those. Uh, let's scratch back here. Oh, we got a cracked egg. And we're just going to do the one since we did that bonus and got an eight. So we'll do $5 and call that one done. All right. So, so far we have saved 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, $17 today, which actually is a lot. <laughs> Plus 20 gets us 37. I'm not going to recount that. That's simple math. We can do it. But it, it goes towards travel, and honestly, travel is one of my favorite things. I'm looking forward to um, being able to do that a little bit more frequently, hopefully in the future. So thanks, Marlene, for such an amazing book. And she has a travel book that I want to start, too. Okay, this binder is from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets and Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. They did a collab. They made a taco binder. I had to have it. <laughs> What it is essentially is for all of 2024, every calendar date that's a Tuesday, get it Taco Tuesday, um, they put that number in here and that's what you save. So in January, the dates were 2, 9, 16, 23, and 30 on the calendar. So that's what I saved and the total was $80. But we already did all those months and now we are into July. So our next one up is $16. So 5, 10, 15 and add the one, so we have $16. Here's where I wish I had a 20, but I don't. So let's add that in there, and we'll color it in 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 6, 7. So we already at $27, and it'll be $80 when it's done. But of course, our next numbers up are 23, and then the following week, 30. <laughs> and this is where I'm like debating, do I do the 15, 30 ahead of time, because if the two line up together, it honestly takes all my money, but it's good because all that money is like, it's a lot of money, right? I don't know how structured that sentence sentence was, but <laughs> we're going to go with it. Anyways, talk about people that I love. It's also Ren and Champagne. Oh, I could like, I should just do a video where I just pour my love out to everybody because honestly, over the last month, I have felt more supported and loved, and you guys are amazing. You're just amazing. <laughs> Next up is my niece and nephews, and I am doing the pet mashup. So this is from Save with Sydney Bear. I did the career mashup one before. Now I have the pet mashup. I think it's adorable. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll two dice. So I'm going to do blue on top, green on the bottom. And then whatever it lands on is what page I turn to, and then it creates some sort of a animal pet mashup. <laughs> and sometimes you get some crazy combos. So six and five. So blue is top. Oh, I get a ducky. A little chicky with the cat bottom. <laughs> a chicky cat. Chick cat. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do, well, I only have 10 for the bottom. So we're going to go big down here. So we got 10 and on the top, I think we're going to do $1 because that 10 was rough. And normally I would do two, but I, I'm just going to do one this week. You have to work with your budget and my budget is telling me just do one Tracy. It's okay. And you know what? It is okay. It's my, it's my savings challenge. I can make the rules. I could skip it, but I wanted them to get a little bit of love. All right, how much do I have in here so far? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2. 
$122. We all know we love the number 22. And this is working towards $300. So it's honestly super amazing when I get $300 to be able to go towards my nieces and nephews. I have been having so much fun going to their softball games lately. I have two nieces that are both the same age, 10 years old. They're born 11 days apart, which is really fun. And they both played softball. So I went to one on Monday and I went to the other on Wednesday. And it was just, it's just been really good. Uh, their season now is done and I think they just have a tournament coming up. So excited to see them play in their tournament too. All right, so back to my savings challenge binder. I did want to do just one little update here. Um, I got to a point where I had to empty all my binders that had cash in them. So that included my savings challenge binder, my sinking funds, and my Christmas, my um, saving for Christmas binder. And because of that, I had to take out some challenges in here that weren't quite done yet. I was able to filter back in money to make sure that my 2024 challenges were all fully back up to the stock um, and that sort of thing. So I was able to keep some of the challenges, but I wasn't able to keep all of them. And it's just because of just things going on right now and allocations being needed. <laughs> I feel like I'm being so cryptic, but honestly, I'm just, I, I can't talk about it right now. So um, it is what it is. But I just want to let you guys know if you're seeing some challenges that are missing, that is why I had to pull everything. I honestly have nothing in sinking funds right now because I took all that money to put towards these savings challenges because I didn't want to lose progress on my 2024 challenges and I I didn't want to say goodbye to some of these other ones. So, you know, I'm going to take the money that I have in completed savings challenges. I still need to stuff these. I had every intention to do that on Wednesday and I just, I didn't have it in me to do it, make a video. But I'm going to start use that to go towards um, to go towards something. <laughs> I don't. I have no plans right now. Everything is just unorganized, and I need to redo a sinking fund binder with new categories. And then I also want to maybe funnel some of this money towards the 2024 challenge. I will speak about that a little bit more later. But for now, I've already rambled enough. Let's keep going. So. We left off on my toasties. Of course, I wasn't getting rid of toasties. <laughs> I mean, can we abandon Todd and Tina and Billy and Brenda? No, we cannot. Um, that was an absolute no. We were going to be able to get to them. So what do we have left? Oh, we have one solo person, right? <laughs> so these are on dates. These two are having a date. She finally came dressed. These two... They're on a date as well. Now we have this solo person and someone put in my comments and I thought it was awesome. So like we're considering this like speed dating or like, you know, a blind date. So this little toasty, which that just cost me $5. <laughs> Here I'm like, just play with stickers, Tracy. It doesn't cost you anything. Well, it does. Um, and then we got to put a little topper on him because this one works at the restaurant that they're at. Uh, that was $4. And he's going to be the sommelier. So <laughs> one, two, three, four. And I don't remember who put this in the comments. So my apologies. But whoever did, I was like, yes, this is so good. Um, and then they said that the milk is not milk. It is wine, right? Because if you're on a date, you're not going around serving. Would you like a bottle of milk? <laughs> Here's me like doing the <laughs> major d <d> thing. <laughs> so we're going to pretend this is red wine. And he's going to serve it. He wants to pour it for Billy over here. <laughs> and the milk cost me $5. So let's make sure we get that. All right. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, $14 that we put in. And I feel like we have to make this look like red wine. <laughs> I'm a red wine girly. <laughs> it looks terrible, but it's a thin marker, so it doesn't work the best. And who is our sommelier? It's going to be, it's going to be Pierre. Good old Pierre. He knows his wines. He is going to serve Todd and Tina and Billy and Brenda. They're going to love it. Um, 
And I feel like we should just finish this because all I have left is this, right? So let's just smack it on top and call it done. This is totally my jam for $3. Yay, we finished it. So Pierre, you serve that wine to Billy and Brenda. You two drink the wine, have some fun. Todd and Tina, they've already had wine. They've been here a while. <laughs> and yep, this is totally my jam. <laughs> All right, that one is done. So let's add the money and we should have $50 since I did the low the low amount version. 25, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50 dollars. Awesome. So anytime we finish a savings challenge, I paper clip it and put it into that envelope that I just rambled on about earlier, which is oh so fun. Thank you guys for bearing with me on that one. And you get a little star one. <laughs> Why? Because you're a star girl. <laughs> and we'll just add this to the pile. My goal is just to keep trying to finish some savings challenges. I, yes, I, I'm going to stop apologizing because I just, you guys understand. But I, I just feel like my life is just so chaotic right now and I need to get back to some normalcy. <laughs> okay. Now we have my other toasty bestie. This is Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. So I love Liz. I love Ren. They both made toast challenges. They, they love me. <laughs> All right. So let's scratch one from hers. Whoa. 15? Dang. I'm not putting bacon on my toast. Why would I put bacon? It's $15. Ren. <laughs> okay, if you have not watched Ren's videos and you want to just be funny, go on there and in a comment, <laughs> say something about not bacon on my toast. <laughs> I don't know. You don't really have to do that. I just think it'd be really funny. 5, 10, 15, or don't go bacon my toast. <laughs> Badoop, poop. <laughs> And then you can say Tracy sent you. Because <laughs> now in my head I have, don't go bacon my toast. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't if I tried. Okay. <laughs> oh, and if, Ren, if you're watching this, you cracked me up, friend. <laughs> All right. How much have we saved? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. 28 dollars to my Ren. Ooh, this is my cheesecake budgets. Oh, but we have the spicy one. Okay, spicy first, then cheesecake. <laughs> Sorry, cheesecake. <laughs> we have to do my budget envelope because this one could be 25, and if it is, it's gonna take all my money, and then we'll come back to that next week. Okay, this is from Crafty Awareness. I love this challenge. I think it's the coolest thing ever. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm scratching off and under each of these circles, there is one of my long-term sinking funds. Yes, I know some of mine might be shifting. We'll work on that later. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna scratch off and see what happens. Um, I save whatever the amount is and then whatever category is listed, such as tabs, birthdays, home improvement, that one is no longer in um, as a contender to win all of this money at the end. So some people will play it where they scratch it and that amount goes into that category. And that's perfectly fine to do too. But I like this like elimination game where each of these sinking funds are throwing money into a pot and then whoever wins at the end just gets it all. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like it. Um, these are surrounded by fives. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna do this corner one. Because the 20 is right here. I don't think she put a 25 right by the 20. No! <laughs> My pet category went away. Sad. I really wanted all the money to go to pets. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Okay, well, I no longer love this challenge though. <laughs> Totally kidding. We could still get a good category in there. <laughs> I was just secretly rooting for pets. Um, did I grab 15? No, I did not. So 5, 10. This is why I had to do this one first. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
is going in. We're gonna add that to the pot now. So we have three left. We still haven't hit the 25, which makes me a little nervous. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 36, 77, 78, 79, 80 dollars so far. And we have three more to go. <laughs> oh, I just I think it's such a cool concept. Honestly. I love it. Okay, let's go back to cheesecake. We have how much do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. And I'm really, really, really hoping that she put all even numbers on here because A, I love even numbers. I am not an odd number person. And so far I've only gotten twos, which is one of my favorite numbers, and they've been even. <laughs> what are the chances? I think it's not a good chance that they're all twos, but see, odd number and a three. But that's okay because these numbers aren't big. One, two, and three. Let's go one more time just for fun, times two. Well, I don't wanna scratch another one, so I'm gonna assume that the times two was for the three. So we're gonna add another three. One, two, three, right? Yeah, we'll pretend we reverse that. See, I got a times two, yay, and then I scratched a three. Whoa, $6, wow. <laughs> don't you just love the effects of <laughs> of my video it's not that great okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten dollars is saved <sighs> i love it <laughs> just especially because the back side is stars and i am obsessed with stars um i am going to get my nose pierced this evening you guys all encourage me to just go and do it so i'm doing it my friend and i are gonna go She's not getting her nose pierced. She wants to get like an inner part of her ear done. Um, but yeah, I was like, are we going to go? And she's like, I don't know. Are we going to go? And I was like, yeah, we're going. <laughs> so we're going. Um, I only have $3. These typically are low, but I have had a $5. So we're just going to see what happens. Three. Oh, well. Thank you, thank you for the, I just, <laughs> I forgot to mention how much I love this one. It is, if you're happy and you know it, shake your meds. I just think it's the coolest, funniest savings challenge ever. All right, one, two, three. And yeah, this one saves 25. So we only have one left to go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's gonna be a $5. We already know it. Yeah, we do. All right. And then next time we will start with Honey Money from Reinventing Renee, which I love this one. And our next number is seven. So it's probably good. We're starting with that because we're getting to the higher numbers now. <laughs> That's all I got today. Obviously, my challenges have slimmed down slightly, but we're still having fun and things will get better. <laughs> They will. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, guys, and I will see you next week. I am really, really hoping to do a Wednesday video. Um, Mondays are still just not going to happen, um, but I am trying to commit to Wednesdays and Fridays. This Wednesday just didn't happen, but next Wednesday, I really want to stuff this money. So let's just put that out there. We're going to do a Wednesday video. So I will see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.